OK, so I'm going to talk about um, bending tests, of which there are two types. There's the three-point bend and the four-point bend. And before I go into the details of three-point bending and four-point bending, their advantages and disadvantages, I want to say something about beam theory. And here I've just shown a beam. I've shown it on roller supports, which is what um, we do the tests on. But actually what we're doing here is we've clamped one end of the beam, so that can't move, but this end can move. Obviously with three point and four point bend, the ends are, they're not clamped, but they sit on rollers, so they're not moving. But I'll deal with that analysis later. This is a simple beam, supported one end, clamped one end, and we're applying a force, F, to that beam. Now, when we do that, the beam will deflect because in order for the beam to be able to have a reactive force to the applied force, it has to deform to do that. And as it deforms, this face of the beam, the top edge of the beam, is going to be in tension. So we have a tensile force here. And the bottom part of the beam is going to be in compression. So at some point, the tensile uh, uh, stress and the compressive stress are going to cancel out and that forms what's called the neutral axis and that means because we have tension on this face, compression on this face, that we have shear forces applying in beam tests, in bending tests. And in order to analyse um, the forces uh, that are operating in these two different types of tests we have to analyse what's called a bending moment uh, and a moment is force times distance and the force is measured in Newton and the distance is in meters in the SI system. So a bending moment is measured in Newton meters and we just have to remember that the convention that we use is that a clockwise bending moment is considered to be negative in the analysis. So we'll look at bending moments, and the other thing that we'll look at is what shear forces are operating. And then we will see the difference between the three-point and the four-point bend.